So hi guys, so welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial At ngayon sasagutan natin itong problem na related sa subject na dynamics Okay, so yung problem natin A heavy ball is dropped into a lake from a height of 25 meter above the water It hits the water with a certain velocity and continues to sink at the same velocity It reaches the bottom of the lake 12 seconds after it was dropped Then, we will going to find how deep is the lake. Okay? So, may sagot tayo na yung deep is 215.6 meter. Okay? So, paano natin yan nakuha? So, yung gagawin ko lang is show kung paano na-deride yung sagot na 215.6. So, first of all, kailangan muna natin isulat yung given. So, ito yung given. So, mapapansin nyo, nilagyan ko ng stage 1. So, yung stage 1... Minimin lang nito, yan yung drop yung ball at yung ball ay magta-touch sa upper surface ng ating lake. So, kailangan muna natin mahanap yung, yung final velocity ng ball after or before it touches the upper surface of our lake. Kasi, dito sa problem, it hits the water with a certain velocity and continues to sink at the same velocity. Meaning, kapag mahanap natin yung certain velocity na to, which is yung, yung required o yung hinahanap, that is the certain velocity, which is final velocity ng ating ball as it touches the surface of water. So, we're going to find that. Then, kapag mahanap natin yung final velocity, yan din yung magiging initial velocity natin sa stage 2. Where in yung stage 2, yung ball is continue to sink at the same velocity. Meaning, yung sagot dito, yan din yung gagamitin natin initial velocity which is yung ball magta-travel pababa sa lake until it touches the surface of the ground. Okay? So, mamaya maintindihan natin yan. But for now, kailangan muna natin isolve yung final velocity ng ball after it drop 25 meter above the lake. So, solution. So, yung solution... Um, we have Vf, which is final velocity squared, is equals to initial velocity plus 2AD. Okay? So, yung D natin, yan yung distance ng ball above our C level. So, i-ignore nyo muna yung sa baba at dito muna tayo mag-focus sa stage 1. Okay? So, dito muna tayo mag-focus. So, as you notice, negative 25 yung uh, value ng ating displacement kasi it is in vector uh, vector quantity so meaning uh, magkaiba siya sa distance wherein yung distance absolute value siya ng displacement so dito makikerry out natin yung negative kasi so yung distance ng ball is magka-count pa baba so therefore negative 25 siya so, okay below sa kanyang position okay so, substitute natin yung mga values. So, yung final velocity, yan yung hinahanap natin. Yung initial is 0 meter per second kasi nakikita, makikita natin yung word na drop sa problem. Meaning, pag drop is wala siyang initial velocity. So, hindi, na, hindi natin hinahagis yung bola pababa at hindi rin natin ina-apply ng force para mahulog yung bola. Just allowing the force of gravity na yung pag na magpupul sa bola pababa. Okay? So, initial velocity, 0, plus 2. Acceleration natin is negative 9.8. Kasi yung gravity natin is going downward. And yung distance natin, negative 25 meter. Which is, sa baba din yung uh, distance niya. So, continue to solve. Final velocity is equal to square root of simplify natin to 2 times 9.8 times 25 we have 490 and the square root of 490 in final velocity na natin is 22.136 meter per second okay so you may kulang tayo so velocity is a vector quantity and dito sa problem once it touches a tubig yung kanyang approach is going downward. Therefore, pag going downward, 
we will put negative sign as uh, as proved na yung velocity natin is going downward. Okay? So, next is we will going to solve for time. Yung time taken ng ball bago siya tumama sa tubig. So, since 25 meter ito and yung ball is drain up, so how long does it take the ball until it touches the surface of water? So, may formula tayong VF equals VOT plus AT. So, i-substitute lang natin yung uh, nangalap natin yung data and then we will found out na yung T is equals to 2.26 seconds. So, meaning to say, a ball which has a distance or height of 25 meter above the lake can take 2.26 seconds uh, before it touches the water level of the lake. So, ganun lang. Then, proceed na tayo sa stage 2. So, this is now the given for stage 2. Okay? So, stage 1 itong sa taas. Now, yung stage 2 dito na sa baba. So, dito na tayo mag-focus sa ibabang portion. So, drawingan ko muna ng ball. So, ito na siya. So, uh, after stage 1, dan dito na yung position ng ating bola. Okay? So, yung initial velocity ng ating bola is 22.136. Kasi, yung final velocity based sa ating problem, okay, so it hits the water with a certain velocity. So, ito na yan. Yung final velocity ng bola bago tumama sa tubig and continues to sink at the same velocity. Ibig sabihin, itong bola is lulubog lang siya at a constant speed of 22.1360. Therefore, pag constant speed, yung acceleration natin is magiging zero. Okay? So, kung marerecall natin sa ating past lesson, zero lang yung acceleration pag object is at constant speed or hindi gumagalaw. Okay? So, next given, yun na, then yung time, as you notice, 12 minus 2.26. So, bakit nag 12 minus 2.26? Kasi kung babasihan natin sa problem, it reaches the bottom of the lake 12 seconds after it was dropped. Ibig sabihin, yung time na nakuha ng bola, okay, I mean yung time na nag exist sa bola, uh, after the time na, after the moment na binitawan yung bola, until it reaches the sea level and until it reaches the bottom part of the lake so yung so yung time niya once it drops until ito sa baba is 12 second okay so kanina sa stage 1 na solve natin na yung time from here up to here is 2.26 so since 12 ito dito until dito is 12 so we need to minus 12 minus we need to subtract 12 sa ating time dito sa stage 1 para yung matitirang time yan yung time na makukuha ng ating bola sa stage 2 patungo sa pinakaibabang portion so kaya minus natin yung 12 minus 2.26 we have 9.74 second yan yung makukuha uh, yan yung time ng bola na mag da down sa ating lake until it reaches the bottom surface of our lake Okay, now, klaro na. And yung final velocity is zero. Since may, since tatama yung bola sa sahig ng ating lake, therefore, hindi na siya gagalaw. So, therefore, yung velocity niya ay magiging zero. So, yung solution, um, magiging D is equals to 1 half A T squared plus initial velocity multiply sa time. So, D is equals to 1 half times zero times t natin na 9.74 plus initial velocity na 22.136 multiplied by time na 9.74 so yung distance natin na makukuha is 215.6 meter okay so as you can see match yung sagot natin sa answer key so ganun lang mag solve so, meaning to say, uh, the moment na lulubog yung bating bola sa ating lake with a time of 9.74 seconds, having a distance or height of a lake which is 215.6 meter. So, napakalalim ng ating lake. Okay, so, this 
So, okay na. So, ganun lang mag-solve. So, practice lang ng practice until makasa yung ating skills sa pag-solve. So, thank you for watching guys and hope na may natutunan kayo. Salamat. God bless.